Ladies and gentlemen, look like Lori Loughlin and her husband are once again caught lying in this whole thing when it comes down to the college admission scandal. Now, they claim, you know, that they were not aware of what they did was a crime, but they are clearly not telling the truth, ladies and gentlemen. So this came out in LA Times, January 15th, 2020. USC questioned whether Lori Lachlan's daughter um, were even athletes. So they were questioning this ahead of the admission scandal. And rightfully so, those girls don't look athletic. You know, athletes have a certain look about them. Those girls don't look like they even, <laughs> I think the only thing they lift is a plate. That's it. <laughs> when they go to eat, that's it. But she knew what she did was wrong. And they're finding more emails. And this is just going to make it that much tougher for these two when they finally return back to court. You know, they just found someone in the athletic department that got paid to go along with the BS that her daughters were, um, you know, part of the crew team. An attorney for Heinel, who was the coach, and a spokesman for USC didn't immediately respond to requests for comment. Heinel has pled not guilty to conspiracy to commit racketeering, fraud, and bribery. In court papers filed on Tuesday, Eric S. Rosen, an assistant U.S. attorney, addressed complaints by defense attorneys who had argued Rosen and his colleagues were withholding evidence favorable to their client. Rosen took aim at an argument floated by Lachlan and her husband, Massimo Giulinali, that the two believe their $500,000 payment to Singer would go towards legitimate donations to USC. The couple specifically rejected this legitimate approach. Rosen wrote, pointing to an email exchange between Jill Nolly and an official in USC development office with the fashion designer's older daughter applying in 2016. The official who wrote, whose name is redacted in the documents offered to flag her application and asked if I can be at all helpful in setting up a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for her customized tour of campus for the family and or classroom visit. Jill Nolly already conspiring with Singer to pass off the girl as an elite ex-swan, I'm mean, sorry, co-swan, um, prosecutors say. Singer asked Jill Nolly in the email for a picture with her on an ERG rowing machine and workout clothes like a real athlete. Six days before the USC official email, Jill Nolly fielded one from Singer. Got it all. Profile is being made as a coxswan, I guess that's what they call it. And USC is awaiting my packet with transcript, test scores, and profile. Jill Nolly told the development official, thanks so much, I think we are squared away. He forwarded the email thread to his wife that night, adding, the nicest I've ever been blowing off somebody. <sighs> A month later, Heinel presented their daughter as a recruit, Coxwan, to a USC admissions committee, which approved the girl for admissions based on falsified athletic credentials, prosecutors allege.
the couple wrote a $50,000 check to a USC account that Heinel controlled and wired Singer $200,000, prosecutors said. They repeated the fraud a year later to get their younger daughter into USC, according to prosecutors. Lachlan and Julianali have pleaded not guilty to conspiracy to commit fraud, money laundering, and uh, bribery. Oh, these two are liars. These two are li- All right, let's move on. Rosen wrote that no USC officials interviewed by his office knew payments from Singer's clients were a squid pro quo for admissions apart from those who have been charged with crimes. The government has no evidence that anyone outside of the school athletic department knew of Singer's corrupt deals, Rosen said. Nor he added, has his team seen evidence that anyone who supervised Heinel or other charge coaches was aware of the fraud? <laughs> you know, these people are full of shit. They knew exactly what they were doing and they knew they were not getting their daughter into that school legitimately. How do you not know? And her husband is so dumb. He's just interacting back and forth like this is just something normal to do. And you're up here cheating to get your daughter in college. This is ridiculous. Three years later, Heinel was asked to investigate applications submitted by three students. One of them, Julianali's younger daughter, notified the student had been flagged as a rowing recruit. Her high school counselor, had told a USC admissions officer a year earlier, I had no knowledge of her involvement in crew and based on what I knew of her, uh, doubted she was involved in crew, according to a record of the conversation that prosecutors filed in court. So her school counselor knew this girl was full of shit and she couldn't do no crew, <laughs> be on no crew team. Come on. In March 2018, a USC official emailed Heinel the names of three students whose high schools were quite surprised to hear they were being admitted as athletic recruits. Wow. Most of the names are redacted. Jewel Nolly was not. Heinel wrote back the following day, Jewel Nolly's... Um, Younger daughter was on a list of prospects the crew coach inherited from his predecessor. He was welcoming her to walk onto the team and earn a spot. She wrote, another student, Heinel, was asked to investigate whose name wasn't disclosed, had great baseball IQ, a good bat, and a family with ties to a donor that gave a million dollars to the baseball program, she said. Wow, these people don't do nothing but lie and cheat through life. That's all they do. <laughs> Woo! All they do is lie and cheat through life, and they want you to see that as legitimate. Seriously, y'all, that is the biggest joke. Ugh. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. You know, so just looking at this, how could these two not know what they were doing was wrong? What the hell do you mean not guilty? They going to throw her and her husband under the damn courthouse when they get done with them. And their case got to be coming up soon, y'all. You know, they got away this long. You see how long it takes them to get around to their folks when they do something wrong. It, it seems like they take forever and a day to get around to these people. There is no way we see the same kind of treatment 
when it comes down to anyone else. In fact, they want to rush to get you in jail and rush to get you convicted <laughs> if it was anyone else. But because, you know, well, let me just end right here because I can just go on forever, y'all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.